Hi, this is Scott, Killer Three Cylinder from InsightCentral.net. My online handle on Insight Central is KLR3CYL. Um, and now we have a video where earlier we showed how to replace the little buttons that are on the circuit board. And now we're actually going to show how to uh, install the little buttons in the back of the circuit board on, or the circuit board in the cluster itself. So we have a cluster out of the car and uh, we're going to flip the cluster over and there's a plastic back on this and there's, uh, let's see, what do we have? About eight tabs that we have to lift up a little bit around the edges here and there's one in the center that you have to lift as well. So we're going to gently pry the little tabs up on the, the cluster here to get the back off. Okay, so we have the, the back almost off here. You kind of have to go around some of them, try to reattach when you're popping the ones from the other side. So we have the back off here. And the little circuit board that we want to replace is right here in the corner. This is for the trip buttons on this particular car because it's not working. And if your trip buttons don't reset properly, uh, your service maintenance light will come on and, and can actually eventually burn out the service maintenance light bulb. Um, and then you can go ahead and do what we're doing. When you do this, there's one Phillips screw in the corner and on the other corner, there's a little tab down here on the white plastic. When they uh, put these in, that snaps in and then they put the screw in. These, the plastic on these becomes very, very brittle and when you go to take this out, there's a great possibility that you'll actually break the little white plastic tab here. And that's not the end of the world because the screw actually holds it in if that does happen. So we need to unplug the little circuit board here from the back of this other big circuit board for the main deal here. So we're gonna pop that out of there. And then I'm gonna take a number one Phillips screwdriver and get down in there and take out the Phillips screw. a short little screwdriver and then my other screwdriver actually has a magnet on the back of it so it helps me get it so I don't drop it down in there it's easier that way and then once we're down in there there's these two little plastic tabs and you kind of have to be careful hopefully you can get it out and not break the tabs but they're the type of plastic that they use it's really difficult we got it and we broke broke one a little bit there yep we broke it and but the other one's still there so now we have our buttons here that have already been replaced. And these are the same on the right side or the left side. If you're gonna do this operation, normally you wanna do both sides at the same time. Today for the video, we're just showing the one side for time. And it's just the same thing, just on the other opposite side. So then you drop it down in and on the, cor the front corner of the circuit board, you wanna make sure it's in the little slot up in the hole in the corner there. And then actually I'm going to use the screwdriver here and manipulate this down in just a little bit and get it to snap back in. So that one snapped in under the back corner and I'm going to get the, the screw set down in there. I'm going to use my little wire cutters that are here like tweezers and get it set in the hole. And then I'm going to use the number one Phillips again and run that screw back down in. Actually, the Phillips doesn't like it, so the little straight blade is just about the right size as well. So we're going to use that, get the screw down in just snug so that it holds it in there. And then we're going to plug in the little button board again 
back here. Like so. So we, that's how simple it is to actually put the little switches in for the trip stuff or the light dimmer on the other side. And then we're gonna put the back back on the cluster here. And really you just have to put it on and push everything down and it'll all snap right back on. So this cluster is ready to go back in the car and it's got new trip buttons in it. Thank you for watching my video. Please check out my other videos uh, on how to repair Honda Gen 1s uh, on YouTube.